Hello friends, uh, Carrie here. Just wanted to hop on here and show you guys what we're making for dinner tonight. So I think I have a little helper, Sophie, that might help me. Say hi. So tonight on the menu is beef enchiladas. It's one of my family's favorites. We love Tex-Mex and anything Tex-Mex. So tonight I'm going to do a little different spin on it. And instead of putting all the meat mixture inside the tortilla shells, we're going to make kind of a meat mixture sauce and pour it over top of the shells. So I've already went ahead and chopped up half of an onion, um, a green pepper, um, not a green, I think I had an orange pepper, but whatever pepper will do. Kind of raid your kitchen and see uh, what kind of vegetables and things you have in there that'll go good. Like I had a jalapeno, I put in half a jalapeno, one orange pepper, and half of an onion. And over here, <clears throat> I'm just cooking those down until they're translucent and soft, which they're pretty much already there. Um, put a little avocado oil and you just kind of want to cook them for a little bit. So at this point, we're going to grab the hamburger. And I have, what would you say, this is close to two pounds, this is quite a bit. Should we use all of this? I don't even know. Probably not. I think I'm only going to use half of it. Just do like a pound of hamburger. <clears throat> and then throw it in there with the veggies, like so. And then at this point, we are just going to brown the hamburger, drain the grease, and then I'll meet you back. Want this chocolate stuff. Stop touching it with your hands. All right, and while the hamburger's cooking, this is a good time for wine time. <laughs> and cheese time. And she's gonna eat all our cheese before we get to stuffing the taco shells. <laughs> right. Okay guys, so I just wanted to let you guys know when you're browning the hamburger, um, if it's still a little pink like it is here, uh, to make sure that it's all browned evenly and, and keep cooking it because the big thing about Mexican food or, you know, things, you don't want to put the red sauces in there because then you won't know when your hamburger is done. So that's a big key is to make sure that the hamburger is all kicked, the, cooked. There's no pink, no redness. So when you put the sauces in, you know that it's cooked through. So once you put this red sauce in, then you have no idea to know if the hamburger is cooked or not. So it's always a good idea, like when you're making tacos or browning hamburger, before you put like red sauces in there and stuff, um, to always make sure that you don't see any pink or any red. So then you know for sure the hamburger's cooked before you put the red sauce in. Because after the red sauce, you're not quite sure if it's cooked through or not. So just a little tidbit. Okay. All right, guys. So the hamburger is all browned. I drained off the grease. And it's all cooked through. There's no pink. There's no redness showing. So now I know it's good to add my seasonings and all the rest of the stuff to finish this sauce out. So at this point, I'm going to put um, a little salt. I don't put a lot because all of these canned goods are going to have quite a bit of sodium. I put a little pepper. And I'm going to just amp it up by using just a little bit of my taco seasoning that I get. Just to give it a little bit more flavor. <clears throat> give that a toss in. Let that cook just a second here. So it's almost like you're making taco meat, but you're not. We're going to turn it into like an enchilada sauce. So I'm going to amp it up. I'm not, again, I'm not following a recipe. I've made enchiladas a million times. So I kind of know the basic recipe. And that's always good, but I decided to amp it up a little bit. So I'm putting in some petite diced tomatoes with green chilies. <clears throat> uh, the juice and all, put it all in there. Um, I rinsed and drained a uh, can of pinto no, beans. Yeah, because our family loves um, beans and it's a good way to get that extra protein in. And, okay, we got them all. And then I have a big can of red sauce. So I'm only, I'm going to eyeball it, see how juicy I want it. So we'll do like half a can. And I'll mix that through. And then you kind of want to, this to cook for a while. You know, you don't just jump right into, you know, pouring it over. You kind of want it to cook a while and let those seasonings really come together. <clears throat> and I think, and it thickens a little bit while it cooks too. And you, so you can make it as you know, saucy as you want, or as thick as you want, uh, depending on how much sauce you want to put in there. So, uh, I'm just making the traditional red beef enchiladas. 
don't know what our dog is doing out there. And then at this point, I always, my mom always had a trick when I'm making anything with a red sauce or a tomato sauce, you always want to put a little sugar in it. <clears throat> and I like uh, things always a little bit sweet. I think I said that on my last video. Tank is just starting something out there. So at this point, we just cooled the pan down by putting all of that uh, stuff in the pan. So we want to bring kind of that heat back up. We kind of want this to cook and kind of like marinate, get thicker and bubble, bubbly. And so we're going to let that sit here and kind of do its thing. Then we're going to come over here and we'll put together. Come on, Sophie. You can help? I see him. <clears throat> He's just doing it. We are going to put together um, the taco shell part of it. So I'm just using flour, hey. flour tortillas. You can use corn or flour. I just think that flour is a little bit more substantial and doesn't get as soggy as corn tortillas, but it's totally your preference. So I'm just going to put the cheese in there. Sophia, you want to come help? And then this is leftover cilantro lime rice. And we had it left over, so I thought it would be a good idea to kind of put it in with the cheese. <clears throat> to kind of put a filler in there. And then... We are just going to roll and try to shove all that stuff in there, make a nice tight roll and put the seam down. I sprayed my casserole dish just to make sure nothing sticks. And then we're going to do that for the rest and fill up the pan. And I'll meet you back here. Well, we got to do one, we got to do a line of it. We're not making a quesadilla. We kind of have to make a line like that. Okay. Now scoop some of the rice on there. Mix it in with the cheese. <clears throat> and again, make a line with the cheese. Okay, well, we're just going to do what we're going to do. Okay. Okay, that should be good enough. Okay, you ready to roll it up? Yeah. Okay, we roll from this end. We roll it over all of the stuffing. Nope. And we tuck it kind of underneath. And we roll and roll. And then seam down. Put that seam down on the pan. So this is called a seam, Sophie, of the taco shell. So you want to lay that down so they don't pop open when they're baking, okay? All right. No, we're not doing that yet. Hey, um, so we're back, and Sophie, my little helper, rolled all the taco, sh <laughs> all the taco shells. Okay, stop touching. Just our family eating them, right? So it's okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. So she rolled them all up with the cheese and the rice mixture, seamed down, sprayed the pan so nothing sticks. So we got a nice, uh, healthy layer of taco shells. Oh, I microwaved the taco shells just to make them more pliable because they tend to be a little stiff just out of the package. So you just want to nuke them for like 30 seconds so they're a little bit softer and easier to roll. So I did that while we were gone. Um, so now they're ready for the sauce. So the sauce is all bubbly and it's been cooking and you can see it's gotten a little thicker and has had time to kind of um, mix and marry all those ingredients. So what we're going to do is just take this and pour it, and it might be too much, but we'll see. Just pour it over the enchiladas. Which, I don't know, should I put all of it in there? Kind of seems like a little bit too much. <clears throat> I have a tendency to do that, to make too much. I'm just going to shake it, let it all seep in there between the taco shells, and then we're just going to load it with cheese. You ready? Sprinkle the top with cheese. Ooh, can never have too much cheese. Right? Mmm. Can I put some on? Yeah, you can put a, some more on. And again, make this, you know, and modify it to what your family and what you guys like. Um, what kind of cheeses. We're just using a mild cheddar and shredded it and put it on top. And then um, when it comes out of the oven, I'm going to top it with um, some cilantro and just some green onions. And then, of course, all the fixings, like you can have lettuce and sour cream and avocado. Um, you can top it with whatever season, seasonings you want. All right, stop. So, at this point, we're going to bake it. I have 
Well, I don't have the oven on, but I'll put the oven on at 350 and we are just going to bake it for about 30 minutes. Everything's cooked in here, so you don't have to worry. We just are wanting to it all heat up and the cheese to be melted and bubbly. And usually about 30 minutes, um, it will be it will be done, right? And it'll be dinner time. And so you get all your fixings ready while it's baking and dinner served. So I hope this guy, this help you guys um, encourage you and give you some ideas and um, let's have dinner. Thanks guys.